Hello, this is Mark, Kilo Mike 6, Zulu Papa Oscar, and I wanted to show you the new Mobile Link TNC4 um, connected to a tablet PC, sort of. This is a Windows XPS. It's, um, it's actually a tablet, but it has a keyboard on it. Um, getting this thing connected right over here, which is connected via Bluetooth, um, wasn't typical for adding Bluetooth devices. It's a little different than how I connected the TNC3. Um, as I recall, um, with the TNC3, I would go into the Bluetooth settings and then I would go to add device and then I would scan for it and it would show up in this list. Well, it was not showing up in this list. It was on, I verified by connecting to my phone and running radio mail, um, which um, also, Windows, I, or sorry, Apple iOS didn't see it either. And um, uh, in in the iOS, what I did is I ran the Radio Mail app and just um, it just found it. So uh, I don't know how that's working. Anyway, so for for any Windows 11 device, this may be different on Windows 10. Um, and honestly, you should be upgrading uh, because Windows 10 is end of life. But Anyway, I digress. So the way you add it in uh, Windows 11 is you're going to go into your devices. It says Bluetooth and devices. You're not going to use the add device function here under Bluetooth. You're going to go all the way down below all your devices and then look for um, more devices and printer settings. And then you're going to go add device. And when you do that, you'll see a bunch of... Um, eligible devices and one of them is going to be the TNC and it's not going to look like th this one it's going to look like this one and when it installs it'll say installing network infrastructure device okay that's the first step now once that's connected um, you're you're ready to move on you'll want to um, open up your device manager if you don't know how to get there you can search for device and then open up the old device manager control panel which looks like this you should be used to this on Windows 10 you're gonna see a couple of um, Bluetooth serial ports here one of these two probably the second one is gonna be the one that you're gonna use to set up um, your packet winlink station so over here in packet winlink I've got COM5 is matching to uh, COM5 over here. Okay, so if everything's working, and, and I know it's working because I tried, um, you'll just go ahead and hit start. You'll notice some green and blue lights over here. Now you're not gonna hear that noise. I'm, uh, uh, you know, because the, the cable is gonna be connected directly to your radio. I only have the noise running so that I can hear the quality of the sound. Uh, which I'll just go ahead and leave that running so you can hear what a transaction sounds like. It's kind of important to know what those acts are all sounding like. So uh, what I did is I just replied back to myself here an email that, interestingly, I, I tried sending with the TNC3. I had no luck with the TNC3 on Windows 11, and that's why I switched up to the TNC4. Um, and, I, and, and it was not just connection issues, but it was, um, you know, connecting to the Windows 11, but also it was even when I could get it connected to Windows 11, and even when it would start sending, it wasn't as smooth of a transaction as, as this one. And I had to do a lot of tweaking of the volume setting and, and a bunch of other stuff that just doesn't work well on Windows 11. But, I'm sorry, Windows, 10, uh, yeah, Windows 11. But, the TNC4 seems to be well optimized for Windows 11, which is what I have. So as you can see there, uh, my test message did come through. So I hope that helps somebody if you're struggling with getting the Windows uh, 11 hooked up with the, the TNC4. Um, this is not connected to the computer. It's actually connected to a battery pack, although um, and it's, it's, I just got it out of the box, so I'm charging it. It should run without the battery pack. So I hope you enjoy from Kilo Mike 6 Zulu Papa Oscar.